Okay, let's get into it. What's it mean when the veil is thinning? All right, so if this is a hologram, which it is, it's a hologram. Everything is totally connected and everything exists within everything. <laughs> In other words, every cell has the components of everything else. Everything is absolutely of the one and contains everything within everything else, all right? You know what a hologram is. You know what happens when you cut it up. The exact same thing shows up in every piece as if it was never cut up. That's us. All right, so what happens when we go into this veil, when we go into this space, this new dimension where things seem to be changing in a very mysterious way? when we start to see UFOs more often, when people are experiencing seeing aliens more often and, and Bigfoot and all these fairies and all kinds of crazy stuff, whether it's a hoax or not, some of this is real. Now, the other part is paranormal activity. Part of that is the fact that we have technology now that can document things that we didn't before so now we're actually getting to see it and the other thing is that it is starting to be more active and it's more acceptable this is one of the key components here it's more acceptable for us to talk about that and admit that we have had these experiences that's part of the collective consciousness so what happens in the collective the more we expand out into that and it's okay to believe it it's okay to talk about it it goes into the collective, so it becomes more prominent. In other words, there's more entanglement in that. And therefore, it starts to be more apparent to us that this stuff is going on. We get to talk about it. We're not considered cray-cray if we do. The veils are coming down for one reason. And that means your psychic abilities, paranormal activity, all this stuff. And we're going to talk about physical symptoms. It's coming down because... The dimension that we are in that is dense is now going to a higher frequency. The higher frequency you're in, the less you participate in the holographic uh, earth reality that we have created for ourselves. In other words, we're pulling the curtain away. All right, We're starting to see behind the curtain of what's really going on. There's a projector there showing it and we're looking at that now instead of looking at the what's being projected and believing it we're realizing there's a projector there and we are actually behind that projector and projecting things out we're actually understanding that and when you know that the movie isn't real anymore it becomes a movie so now it's still a movie for us we still become emotional oh somebody died oh there's a hero yay you know we're still involved in it even though we know it's a movie. Now, what's happening is that dimension that we're in is expanding. So we're actually going into another dimension that is more expansive because we're understanding more and more what we are and we're making better choices. Now, that's not the majority of humans here. So many are still in density and believe that that's reality. It's evil. You need to, you know, wake up to the evil. No, well, it's evil because you're entrenched in the evil. And so if you choose higher frequencies, higher choices, uh, and not, not going into separation, then you're shifting into that dimension, which is real. Okay? But it's all still part of the hologram because as long as you're a human being, you're going to experience density. All right, so when you go into higher frequency, the, the veils here that keep us in this is you're this you're this human being and this is what's it start to open up they start to open up because we're now going into expansive space and understanding what we are and we are unlimited we can walk through walls we can do that we can fly we can read each other's mind we don't have to even speak or eat if we don't want to we could actually get to that level now it takes some work because we have the density of the human body that we have to expand out into. But there are people that do these things. 
Some of it's natural because they brought those abilities with them and didn't shut that, you know, close the veil down. But now our veil is opening because as a collective, we're going into a higher frequency. And the more we do, the more we say, wait a minute, you know, and we push the building down and realize it was just a cardboard cutout. That's what's happening. And so what's happening is that other world, that paranormal world over there, isn't separate from us. Nothing is. It's in the room with us. We can't see it because we are entrenched in density. And until we go into that higher frequency, we cannot see these things. Some people have natural abilities. Why? How can they see it? They are, they, they've broken through that veil. So if you went into the afterlife, or, or NDEs, people see things. They see other people that have passed away. They see colors that don't exist. They see all these other things. Why? Because they're not in the dense body anymore. It's all there. It always has been. We just can't see it so that we can play in the hologram that we've created because that would just be way too complicated. It'd be a completely different world if everybody was in the room with you that was dead or alive or was never a human being and energy fields of all kinds. And, but it exists now. We have to have this appearance of separation in order to play this role out. These veils are starting to get thinner. So now we're more aware and believing and knowing what we are. That means, okay, I'm not playing this role anymore. I'm an expansive light being that could move objects if I want to. We're actually okay with that. So the more you're okay with that, the more people talk about it and prove it and test things in quantum physics, the more it becomes a part of our hologram that punches through it. Now what's going to happen is time, things will appear to be frozen. Uh, you can jump do time, I, I've done this before, I've had it like, I don't know how many times, it's happened a few times. Two in particular were so freaky, no explanation. I was jogging, I actually saw my time, I knew what time it was, and all of a sudden I was at the end of the street. Now it wasn't the, you know, I was jogging and thinking and I just forgot. Because the time was the exact same time I looked at a block back. So it wasn't like, oh, I wasn't paying attention. It was, you know, five minutes later. 12 o'clock here. I'm at the end of the block. I don't know how I got there. It was 12 o'clock there. Somehow, I did a quantum leap. That stuff's happening more. Why? This is a program. Not like, like we think. It's way beyond that, all right? I mean, even spaceships, are, most of them aren't metal. They're actually alive. You know, they, they are organic material. And so we're thinking, you know, very materialistic structure-wise. So I want you to understand that things are programmed here in a specific way so that we can have this experience. And when we start to not believe the experience anymore, and we start to understand that, that we're beyond this, we start to break through time and space. And so we start to experience the, like disruptions in the quantum field, in the hologram. Does this make sense? That's what's going on right now. You will see some bizarre things going on because now we're going into that, that, absolute, that space of energy that always was there that now we're okay with exploring and going into. And by the way, I don't want you guys to worry about any darkness or whatever. Nothing has power over you. It's sort of like being human. Could somebody come in here and physically harm me? Yeah, but they don't harm me. They just, they just could harm the physical facade of what I am. Same thing with you. Even in the dark, you know, even if you were to go on the other side, darkness doesn't have any precedence over you. It doesn't have any power over you. Only if you go into that frequency. So if you have fear, you go into the frequency. Yay, welcome to the party. Right? That's why they will leave if you don't go into fear and you command them out. And then sometimes that doesn't work either. Why? There's energy fields connected to material things. And that's a lower density. And that exists. As long as they believe it. Right? So the veils are coming down. Now, what's happening with your body? 
uh, if you are having DNA, uh, let's just say acceleration of your DNA symptoms, you'll get what I call electrical charges. I, I had them for years. I finally I was looking it up, like, what is this? You know, I, like, I was looking everything up. Kundalini, whatever, energy, whatever. Actually, it was just electrical charges. It was an upgrade of DNA. It has stopped. So apparently I've achieved certain levels. And that's just about the time I started doing all this stuff and getting a lot of downloads. I also had a lot of paranormal experiences, a lot. And I was okay with them. I didn't let any of them get to me. Now I want to share something with you. Everything is in all dimensions. That means if they're in higher frequencies and they're existing in dimensions that are not in the dense material world, they can all see each other. That means alien life forms, we're aliens by the way, so when I say that I don't mean to diss the aliens, just the different life forms, a lot of them are on super high frequencies. You know, they don't, they don't eat, they don't talk anymore because they can communicate. They're, They've been around for billions of years, way, way, way longer than we have, right? They're super advanced. They're popping in and out of dimensions. That's how most of them get in and out of here. They're not traveling in some light machine. They just pop in and out of dimensions and wormholes or whatever it is they do. I don't really know, but I know that it's way beyond what we are thinking. And so they actually have the ability to be in dimensions where people that have passed on are in, can see them. Now, how do I know this? I actually heard something recently about that, which surprised me because I actually was thinking about this myself because my father, who passed away, actually came to me and showed me that there were aliens. He was in a state of concern over it. He had just passed over, and my dad, even though he was advanced was not really in a high spiritual state of, of being. I mean, just the thought of all that stuff, I think, would blow his mind. So when you go over to the other side and you still have all those beliefs, they don't go away. It takes a while. You have to go through some more training and advanced, you know, learning over there. So it's not like, oh, you become just this enlightened being. You go into a space of no more struggle and all that. So my father showed me aliens, which was the most bizarre thing. I thought, why is he doing that? And why was he fearful of it? I'm not. I think that they're advanced. If they wanted to take us out, they would have done it by now. You know, we're, they're never shooting at us. We're the, you know, yin yangs that are always firing at everything. Oh, there's this extinct creature. Let's just kill it. You know, I mean, this is a really difficult planet to live on because the first thing we want to do is destroy things. We're threatened by everything. And when you go to an advanced state, you're threatened by nothing. You know that's impossible. So I want you to know that aliens, uh, people that have passed on, and by the way, the forms that you see them in aren't them. They appear that way because you wouldn't know who they were if they came in as lights. Sometimes they do. Because sometimes they come in as orbs and they let you know who they are. Um, they're going to do all kinds of stuff. The communication to the other side is much easier pay attention to your dreams if you want to talk to somebody ask them to give you a sign or uh, before you go to sleep ask them to come visit you now we don't want to be bugging them if they're not in a position to come do that they may not be even in tune with us others will be some some that aren't very advanced are off doing some serious <laughs> training <laughs> so you know the last thing they need to do is have to come visit us that you know you don't want to be calling on somebody who's not advanced awakened because like they won't have any an any more answers than you do um, don't be afraid of the veils coming down it's a positive thing your abilities to manifest are off the friggin charts right now we're going into a shift I talked about that in my last video there's a shift happening it's a very uh, it's not a huge one right now, but it's uh, veils coming down big, big time. People are going into desiring peace and love. And even if they're doing that because, you know, they're sick of the material world and how it's affecting them, 
it's still a higher frequency. So that still contributes to the collective. More people are seeking awakening and understand what that is, and they know that it's not woo-woo stuff, it's real, it's science. We are just energy beings, and that we just function on different vibrations and frequencies. We're all of the same thing, we're connected, we know that, and so we're seeking uh, much wiser choices. So the planet is becoming advanced, the actual frequency of the planet's gone up, that's been documented by NASA, and, um, and so I want you to know that you can actually tap into this. Now, if you go into the Miracle Circle with me, we actually, I actually train you to go into that space without fear. And we actually, every time I do meditations with you guys in the Miracle Circle, I take you onto the quantum field and I don't bring you back. It's not like a Ouija board, you know, oh, you know, close the circle. No, we're not, there's nothing to close because we are actually in a circle of light totally protected so we never have to worry about anything and so we go into the circle and we expand it out and we stay there because then when you come out of your meditation then I want you to be connected to your powers so then all of a sudden you're not you're feeling lighter you're feeling like a high frequency and then so what you do is you'll have a thought and it'll whoa you're starting to get some some real action out there you know things are happening very quickly so I want you to understand that there's nothing ever to fear, that you have the ability right now to go into that space. Now, don't be messing around with this on a lower frequency. That would be, uh, you know, I'm going to conjure something for me personally, material stuff. It's okay to want material things, but remember, there's a much bigger picture out there. And you can have all that, because when you go to high frequency, you give anything you want. You will, but you don't need it to be happy. And that's the difference. Awakened people don't require things to be happy. It's a bonus, and, but you'll get the bonus. Then all of a sudden, this, because you have no barriers between it, now you don't need it anymore, then it shows up. Why? You don't have any negative beliefs, or I can't, or I shouldn't, or oh, I don't have it. Lack, lack, lack. I need it. Oh, I need it. Yeah. You can, you can manifest off the freaking charts, amazing stuff. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about, every part of your life is this. And that means what you do for a living, how you earn. Do not separate spirituality from that. If you are doing things that are contributing to uh, the destruction of the planet, pollution, anything, you've got to make some higher choices. Sorry, you've got to do it. And if you're working for people that are just not treating other people well, you've got to start making higher choices if we do these things, then that will start to change because it's nobody else is going to be doing it, right? That means everything. And if, if, you, if you know things are wrong, then you have to start to step up and make positive change in a positive way. You have to do everything in a high frequency, all right? So things that you're eating, your DNA, if, you have, if you've had a DNA upgrade, and I think those of you who've had one know what it is. It's bizarre. But anyways, that electrical impulse goes through you. It, sounds, it feels like you're being electrocuted, but it doesn't hurt. It's just weird. And it, it can go on, sometimes it go on for a couple hours, and then it comes back. And then it's usually when you're quiet at night because, you know, you're not active and it just comes in. So that, you're going to find yourself ha having a diet change, a lighter foods. You're not going to want to eat anything that is, uh, has carcinogens in it and um, uh, is has been uh, not treated well, has fear in it, um, is processed, none of it. We uh, How that was ever allowed, I don't know, but we got into just being, you know, machines. So we have to pull out of that and make some higher choices with that. Uh, organic foods, don't use plastic. You've got all kinds of choices right now and, you know, even what you wash your sink with, Use baking powder. That's I, is it baking powder or soda? Baking soda, you know, little box costs a few cents. A lot cheaper. It's nice. It smells good. Scrub your sinks and your showers with that. Start making good choices. Don't put crap on your skin. I have. If you want to go to my store, I have a, a Amazon. Uh, a, a, um, it's an Amazon influencer store. In other words, I don't sell anything, but I recommend things that I use. I have vegan shampoos, all these things. We don't want to kill animals. I'm just telling you right now, this is happening. This is our shift. We are shifting into something higher. You're either a part of it or you're not. And if you want to live in that old world, <clears throat> it's toxic. Okay. Nothing wrong with it, but I think you're ready to get out of that. 
So do not be afraid of some things. A lot of you guys were seeing for a period of time. I haven't seen it lately, but sparkles of light in the room, sometimes even during the daytime. And I don't mean shit, you know, uh, reflections. Uh, at night, I was seeing a lot of sparkles, you know, little lights and sparkles. That was happening for a while, a few months ago. I think you're going to start to see those again. I think they're going to start to show up. Let me know if they do. Um, you're going to, you may, even if you see shadows, don't be afraid of shadows that are moving around. Not everything that's a shadow is evil. You know, sometimes it's just an energy field moving through. Um, orbs, if you see those uh, birds that are hanging out and just staring at you and all, let me know what's going on because the more you open yourself up to this, the more it'll happen because you're connected to everything. So these things are uh, that you have no barriers between will start to show up. It's all good. You're all, you're protected. If you're in a high frequency, you're not in fear. You have nothing to fear ever, ever, ever. All right, start to use it. You can start to manifest amazing things. So this up here is, oh, so I started to tell you, whatever you're doing for a living. So if you want to create something positive, we're training people how to create businesses, your dream, they call it your dream businesses, but they're not dreams for me because mine came true. Why? Because I got trained and I put it to work and I started to do things that were right for me and what I believe are higher frequency choices for the planet and others. And guess what? I love what I do for a living. And I live a beautiful life. And it's not about money. Even though we make money doing this, we have to do this for now until which time we shift into a new system, which is not that far down the road, by the way. So if you want to make a decent living doing good things instead of destructive things, come on over. This is a free video series. And find out how people are getting trained to create real online businesses and we can change the world, one light being at a time. So, cool things happening. Um, I'm, you know, through my move to another state, I've, I'm shifting my energy field. I felt that I needed to do that. I don't know why, but now I'm going to be on water. I'm going to be near water. That was not something I ever planned. But sometimes you have to just go with things. Don't be afraid to do that. Your life is an adventure. Have fun for crying out loud. What you, I'm going to get the house and stay here for the rest of my life. And that might be fun too, by the way. But wouldn't it be cool to just go and explore and do things? You can always come back, right? Go do stuff. You don't know what, it, what doors it could open for you. Go into expansion. So uh, I'm going to talk more about this because we're going to start seeing some really cool stuff. Aliens, why are we seeing a lot of aliens? Um, first of all, we have technology that you know, shows, shows more and more, but um, if they don't want to be seen on camera, they won't. <laughs> so that's not a guarantee you're going to see anything. But they want us to see them because they want us to know they're here and they're getting ready to start to communicate more and more with the public. They've been with us forever, but now they're more coming out into the light to basically say they can help us. They have technology that is clean and free, and that's when we can start going into a world where you don't have to worry about how much money you make, and we can do amazing things for each other without worrying about paying those bills. Yeah, okay, so we're going into a really amazing new world, my friend. It's happening, um, I feel it, and I want you to know we have a few more bumps in the road. Don't fear it. Uh, in fact, there's more opportunities for you now than there ever were, but not if you try and cling to the old hologram. You've got to break through it. We're poking holes in it. Yeah, cool stuff happening. So I have more stories for you coming up, and uh, I hope that you'll share yours. Please share these videos. Share it with everybody. It helps to grow my channel, and it helps to spread the good word to other people that they're powerful light beings and that this is just a fun adventure, and we can do amazing things for one another and ourselves, right? All right. Manifest Anything is a free video series. Sign up for it. It's down in the description. These are free videos for uh, online businesses. Please subscribe. And, uh, of course, come on over and join the Miracle Circle. We're doing amazing things. And people are sharing some cray-cray uh, manifestations that are happening for them. Let's use our power. I'm going to teach you how to do that. It's pretty, pretty cool. Your whole perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy Loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.